a short time ago in a galaxy close, close by. A new hope emerges in the intergalactic battle for pizza supremacy. Hello, you have landed at the Flying Saucer Pizza Company. Far from an ordinary pizza place, the Flying Saucer Pizza Company is what happens when Live Long and Prosper meets dough, sauce, and cheese. We're a sci-fi based pizza joint in Salem, Massachusetts. That's Steve Feldman, restaurant owner, pizza lover, and proud nerd. I'm, I'm a nerd. Um, I, I love sci-fi. Really, this is like two of my favorite passions. I, I love pizza and I love sci-fi, so it kind of Put it all together. So the dining room is filled with photos, collectibles, and action figures, and just about all of it comes from Steve's personal collection. My wife just got so sick of all my junk that uh, I need a place to put it, you know? Some would call it geek chic. The kitchen manager, Tyler Griffin, has another name for it. Ooh, I'd have to say nerdy modern. Nerdy modern for sure. There's so much going on all over the walls. There's so much artwork. It's quite an experience, to say the least. <laughs> The sci-fi theme continues when it comes to the pizza, because everyone on the menu has some kind of nerdy name. Everything is named after something from a sci-fi episode, or it's a character from a film, or even a book. Take, for example, the Dark Phoenix. It's a buffalo chicken pizza that burns even hotter thanks to the addition of some fresh jalapenos. And this spicy pie has a fittingly fiery namesake. Dark Phoenix was a character from the old X-Men comics from the early 80s. It's really, really hot. She could burn out planets completely annihilate them because of the heat that you would radiate. So that's kind of where we got the idea for that pizza. It's a really hot pizza. For another slice of spicy chicken, there's the Camilla, topped with caramelized onions, roasted red peppers, and plenty of pesto. Camilla's a great pizza. It's a pesto-based pizza with spicy chicken on top. Camilla's not truly an alien, but she was married to one. It was the chicken girlfriend of Gonzo the Great from the Muppets. Battlestar Galactica fans will want to order the Starbuck, featuring Canadian bacon, pineapple, and jalapenos. But for a truly transformative treat, try the Megatron. The Megatron is a loaded baked potato pizza, and it's just as dominating as the name sounds. Megatron. It's a very, very powerful pizza. It's very heavy. Potatoes, bacon, scallions, ricotta on a white crust with cherry tomatoes. It is heavy duty. <laughs> Of course, Flying Saucer serves the standards like cheese and pepperoni. But of all the pizzas on the menu, none are more popular than the Picard. Uh, the Picard is my favorite, named after John the Picard, captain of the USS Enterprise. It is a white pizza with garlic and olive oil as the base. Then we have Canadian bacon, rosemary, and roasted potatoes that go on top. Very enjoyable and not too overwhelming. It's a pizza that I suggest on somebody who isn't that adventurous but would like to be adventurous. In addition to the Picard pizza, there's also a life-size replica of the captain at the host stand, greeting customers as they enter the restaurant. Oh, when they first walk in, they look to their immediate left, they see uh, Locutus of Borg. This was Jean-Luc Picard when he got taken over by the Borg. He's a limited edition, Jean-Luc, one of 500 that were ever made. Yeah, he's pretty groovy, right? Customers love to look at it, although some do get a little too grabby. And we have a sign on his back saying, please don't touch, because they kept grabbing his butt. A more appropriate thing to grab would be one of Flying Saucer's sweet dessert pizzas, like the Tron topped with cinnamon streusel, cream cheese, and blueberry jam, or the smooth, dark, and decadent Lando Calrissian. Lando's the only brother in the galaxy, and we feel it necessary that he needs to be represented. We represent him with a small pizza with Nutella, bananas, and coconut. Those flavors, they work very, very well together. The hazelnut chocolate really works fantastically with the banana, and the coconut just kind of takes it to another level. <laughs> With a fun, laid-back vibe, old sci-fi movies on the TV, and craft beers on tap, Flying Saucer has become a popular spot for local nerds. Of course, non-nerds are welcome here, too. It's fun, it's whimsical, it doesn't take itself too seriously. I mean, the food is certainly amazing, but the space itself is just really comfortable. People just really enjoy hanging out here. And it's not just humans who come here. Flying Saucer boasts a large wall of fame, showcasing autographed pictures of all the famous aliens who've dropped by for a pie. Right up here, we have Mork from Orc. Ming the Merciless from Flash Gordon. He wrote Stay Classy, which is cool. We have Superman over here, Barf, Chewbacca, my buddy. Richard Nixon popped by, so give pizza a chance. You know, some people get a little confused to see Richard Nixon up here, but he really was an alien. He wasn't human. Human, alien, or whatever you may be, if you love great pizza, resistance is futile at the Flying Saucer Pizza Company, a phantom gourmet hidden jewel.